Hi, it's Jill from Jelly Bean Studio. I hope you can join me today for some fun using up scraps in a composition notebook junk journal. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm glad that you are here. Hello friend. <laughs> That's one of today's scrappy projects. I hope you will enjoy. I am sharing a bunch of things today from the 100 day project. Grab in a cup of, so I hope you can grab a cup of something you enjoy and can journal a bit today too. So the 100 day project is 100 days of anything. You can decide what you wanna do. It started on February 22nd. I'm keeping track of it on this little piece of notebook paper. I'm working in my composition notebook junk journal that I've set up for March and April. So here are some of the beginning pages. And in today's video, I wanna share some that are already done make a little scrappy journal pocket, and yeah, just talk about scraps. <laughs> so I hope you're enjoying whatever journaling you're doing. I would love to hear your ideas, how you use scraps. These are some of my beginning pages. I think we're about in March 9th to 12th. I love junk journaling. I love adding all of the bits and pieces. This is from a takeout bag. My husband and I, we tried this new waffle place and oh my goodness, it was it was fantastic, but it was like it the one I ordered was like eating cake. <laughs> I had caramel, whipped cream on it. And what we ended up doing was it was kind of crowded, so we went down there's a park by a river and we had a car picnic. And I guess if the weather was a little bit better, we would have stepped outside, but it's, I live in New England and it's windy and rainy right now. It's such a mix. So anyways, that was a great time. And what I'm showing you too is I love when I'm doing these pages, which I tend to do two to four pages a week and document what's going on and playing with all the fun art supplies. I love tipping in envelopes or using junk mail. And that's what I'm showing you on the left hand side. I do reinforce it with a little bit of glue because washi tape is low tack. If you're familiar with washi tape, you know that. And that way it will stick right on the edge of your page. Okay, so jumping into the 100 day project of using scraps, I hope in today's video, I'm gonna share a bunch of things that I did, but hopefully it will give you some ideas on how to play with your scraps. And the way the 100 day project is organized, the, now if this makes sense, the days of the week don't match up to the day of the 100 day project, because it starts again on February 22nd. So for this one in particular, I'm doing the textured tag, and that was on 318, but it's actually day 25 of the 100 day project. So that's kind of the way I organized it. And to keep me on track, because <laughs> it can get confusing the day of the week versus the day you're on, I kind of have this little index card to help me. So yeah, for this one, this was a lot of fun. I made a textured tag with just a little bit of papers, cut out that butterfly, did a little bit of stamping that I showed you there. And then I put in a staple so that the tag wouldn't fall all the way down to the bottom of the envelope because I wanted to see it through that cute little window. St. Patrick's Day. And I bought some of this crochet thread. I really, hopefully a goal later on will be, I've tried crocheting a little bit. I, I'm not a crocheter, but I really like this string. I was in Michael's and I thought, 
or thread. I thought that would be great. I used it on the tag and it actually could be pretty good to bind a journal. Now on this page, I still have a lot of journaling to do, but oh, what a blast I had. So all of this inspiration comes from Cat Hand and Janet Nash. Both their channels are, gosh, you could spend a lot of time there. I love the way both of them present easy, fun projects to do. And what happened was Janet was doing these fabric tapes with scraps and then Kat was doing them. They both posted on Instagram and they have really awesome videos. And I decided to kind of jump on board. I'm digging through my scraps here to show you. I just took, I usually use two sizes of scraps for this 100 day project. I take a big box top and a little bin here. And that's sort of the, I leave them on the side of my desk here to the left. And that's kind of the way I've been working through. So anyways, <laughs> a little detour there. But really enjoyed their project. So on the left, it's fabric tape. And that other one was the mushroom from Janet's inspiration. She's always making these adorable little mushrooms. So those were, uh, that was on 313 and 314 days 20 and 21 of the 100 day project. Now a lot of times they were both I think actually sewing, but mine are glued down. Lots of fun there. And as we move now into more of the middle of the month, I had these bits of scrap paper. Most of these papers actually, that's a little bit of washi tape, but most of these papers that have the pretty kind of, um, I don't know, softer tones, the purples and the yellows and the pinks, I love this, isn't that cute? Are from a book called, let me make sure I have this right, For the Love of Paper. And I can link the title of that book in the description box as well as Kat and Janet's channels, I'll link that below. And look at this scrappy little card, isn't that cute? Here's a quick close-up of the projects, by the way, before I jump into the journal with me part. And this one was another junk mail envelope. Okay, <laughs> so I hope that gives you some ideas, some fantastic inspirational channels to check out. I really do enjoy this art community where where all of these ideas are shared and I'm gonna move on now to the inspiration from Misfit Makeovers, which is Cat Hand's new uh, Mixed Media Morsels 2023 version, I guess you wanna call it. It's all the fun prompts that she's doing this year. So I thought for day number 26 in the 100 day project, which is actually on March 19th, I would do a little journal with me. And for this part of the video, I'm gonna use her prompts from March. Actually, I should put in the hashtag up there because if you follow the hashtag, Mixed Media Morsels, which is MMM, and then Misfit Makeovers. You can see, you can get so many more ideas from Kat and everybody who is actually doing the challenge for March and all the other months too. It's a, it's a year long challenge. What I'm grabbing now is something that is yellow and I thought I have, you know how we all have this packaging I think, yeah, those were from thank you note cards. And the prompts for March are, she uses, I love it. <laughs> she uses this online generator. I don't know exactly which one it's called. And it's a spinner. And then 
she has like the main kind of the main prompt the thing that you're gonna make over and then all the the little things that you can add to create your piece for the month so it starts out with corrugated cardboard and then tissue paper triangle yellow and leaf And does this happen to you when you do prompts like the 100 day project or the misfit makeovers and even later I'm gonna I'll show you the uh, inspired to create by Allison from AJ's inspired life and Melissa from messy missy creates when I do these challenges I think it takes <laughs> for me it takes longer to figure out what I'm doing than actually making the little art goodie, <laughs> the little art piece or craft piece or whatever it is. So yeah, there's a lot of thinking time, but I find that equally the, the joy of doing these prompts. I'm obviously a prompt gal. Are you a person that does any of these challenges or prompts? The figuring out process helps me in a lot of ways. One, it helps me look at my current stash. And I have to say the there's a real satisfaction in using up my scraps lately. I feel good <laughs> trying not to buy new supplies, although I love a good new supply. What I just showed you was a bit of drying time. I added white gesso to the corrugated cardboard and to the yellow to, I don't need that much yellow. And anyways, I don't know. I'd love to hear how you feel about prompts, how you feel about projects. Do they encourage you to use up your stash? I, I like puzzling through the prompts and I, love getting inspiration from other people in the art and journaling community. I find it just, it, it feels good to see other people's ideas and then make them your own and, and simply play. Okay, so this is at the point where I decided that I'd use this as a triangle corner and I want to put the cute little doodle card that I did for the 100 day project it, so it has a little place in the journal and figured out at this point it would make sense to make a right hand corner pocket so you can see the little girl. I love that. Isn't that adorable? Again, that is from the book. It's a long title. Not that long. <laughs> For the love of paper. I think that's from Lark Press. And I've had that in my stash forever. In fact, in a, in a fun twist, I bought it for myself. And then somebody who knows me who was a sweetheart, gave it to me as a gift. So <laughs> I have two copies. Okay, I'm liking that in this figuring out step. And I will say later towards the end of the video, I will show you, I'm gonna come back again and show you the progress for this page. So you'll see a lot more of how it came together, the background I put in and I'm really enjoying spring, spring colors. How about you? What are you enjoying lately in your journal? Do you have certain colors that you naturally gravitate towards? If you've been around my channel for a little bit, <laughs> you know bright colors really speak to me. I like to 
draw and doodle. I love collage. And the 100 Day Project using scraps, it's pushed me, it, it has. It's pushed me a bit to, I think that creative, like the creative side to really think. It's also pushed me to post more. I've been, I haven't really used my Instagram that much. I think I, I've wanted to and just not, not really done it. So I have been posting. I decided posting every day was hard. <laughs> it was a challenge for me. I tried to, and then I thought, you know what? I'm going to start grouping the 100 day projects into little, I don't know, small groups or sets or whatever. So I'm trying to post every two or three days now. the scrappy project. So if you want to see them individually, <laughs> hopefully I'm posting pretty regularly over there on Instagram. And the other great thing about that is you follow the hashtags, right? So I'm getting so much inspiration from the 100 Day Project community and it's not necessarily using up scraps, it's everything. I'm really enjoying a lot of mixed media. And there are so many artists doing art journaling. I tend to click on the mixed media projects, a little bit of Zentangle inspired art with that pattern draw drawing and... Okay, I think I have a plan figuring out where things are going on the page. And I'm now I'm gonna come back. <laughs> so this is part two, and it's actually a couple days later. I don't know about you, but my journaling practice, yeah, and it's another cup of coffee a couple days later because sometimes I simply, you know life, right? You've you got to go to work, you've got the laundry, you've got whatever. I ended up leaving my journal open, which is what I love to do on my art table and coming back. So this is now a little bit of catch up on the progress on these pages. Glue this in. I ended up gluing that in with a little bit of Fabri-Tac. It's a nice sturdy cardboard pocket and look at that I love it have a place now for that card and because I kept going with the hundred day project I wanted to share with you I did this sweet teeny tiny collage <laughs> and I'm thinking it's gonna look cute on the pages with the fabric scraps that I did and I also ended up adding the the date scrap up at the top for 1920 and 21 and I'm going to go back and journal some more there so that's a little catch up I don't think I added anything else now to those pages so more journaling to come more writing I literally scribbled on the border with some watercolor paint. And now this is a fun one from Allison and Melissa. This is their prompt. They did a live about a week ago. And oh my goodness, they, they are really funny. <laughs> they are having a good time with Inspired to Create. So this is their St. Patty's Day prompt and they let everybody chime in. I ended up choosing a bunch of, I had a bunch of different ideas. So I ended up choosing scraps, tear, pink, a flower, an anemone, making a tag, which I think will be a tuck spot, adding yellow, and adding the word spring. And it all is simply done on an index card 
So yeah, that was the journaling I've done in the last couple days. Simple, easy to do. And again, I will leave their channels below. You can check out the hashtag inspired to create and I'll link it. I think it also says 2023 for Allison and Melissa's challenge. And so at the very end here, I think as I go into the next week in my comp notebook, I'm going to keep prepping pages. I really need to keep doing that. I have some old digitals that I've been using bits and pieces of that I think I'm going to add to my 100 day projects. And yeah, so thanks for coming along today. I really appreciate it. And I hope you are enjoying your journaling. Happy journaling to you.